Kings and Queens, how's everybody doing today? We're going to head on down to LA and check out my boy Touche. He's going to walk us through the creation of the brand new uh, making and the creation of the Cottonmouth Kings merchandise line. He's also been on Pit My Ride. He did a lot of audio painting and car and design on Pit My Ride. And he also created the world famous West Coast Customs logo. And uh, yeah, man, he's a well known artist. He's really connected. And we're stoked to have him create our line. And we're stoked to have him on board. He's a super cool dude. Make sure you guys check this next clip out. It's my boy Touche. Uh, my name is Touche. I'm an artist from Los Angeles. I do uh, design illustration work. I'm a tattoo artist. Kind of slowed down on that, but uh, just an all around you know, art guy. I try to take care of everything I can and give it as much energy on all the different art angles I can. Just artist. I guess that's the main title, you know? I guess the main two, uh, the main three has been um, mediums I've been, you know, the most attracted to would be ink, spray paint, and uh, and then the tattoo machine. So illustrations, I like to do a lot of ink illustrations, um, spray paint, I'm always painting murals and painting different things with that medium, and then the tattooing. Those are the three things that kind of keep the ship going, and then everything in between kind of falls into place. I love typography, I love lettering. Um, I also love to do character designs, like I love cartoon stuff. I've always loved Disney art. I've always loved just that, um, I don't know, that kind of like comic booky style art. So yeah, I guess um, character design and lettering. Um, I can kind of mess around with everything because I've been to art school and stuff like that. So I kind of got little, you know, little hints, little secrets and stuff I could do. But if I had to pick, it would be characters and lettering. Um, 2001, um, and up until 2001, just I was just pretty much free art, uh, doing graffiti, painting murals, hustling, doing stuff like that, whatever. I wouldn't say any big name brands unless you were local, you would know. Then as 2001 came, I started working with West Coast Customs, designed their logo, uh, all of their artwork, um, took care of as much as I could do over there, whether it was airbrushing vehicles, whether it was uh, doing design wraps, packaging, anything I could do. So West Coast Customs, and then from there it was, you know, inside West Coast, I did, you know, stuff for Monster Energy Drink, Rockstar, Ford, Chevy. I mean, you name it, we did it, dude. Van Shoes, um, Monster Beats by Dre. Um, I mean, I could just sit here and just yap because there's so many through them. Um, and then after that, I went on this little freelance run. And like I said, Cottonmouth Kings, um, Hurley, Just Live. I'm a bunch of good clothing companies right now. So I guess those would probably be the ones, I guess. I have to drop names. Uh, D, -Loco. D Loco, he actually is part um, also, I think he's sponsored or he gets flow from Silica, which is like they, you know, a glass blowing company, of course. And just I do art for them, so through them, Donnie and and, uh, and Dilo talk, Donnie and Justin talk about whatever they did. And um, actually, it sounds gay, but it was Instagram. <laughs> That's really what it was. Yeah, I have an Instagram. Um, my website right now it sounds cheese ball, but it got we had gotten some trouble. Uh, if anyone who's heard of these videos called War. Go out and buy them. But they were these graffiti videos we made, and my website and my name got shut down off that a couple weeks ago, so that's done. But I have an Instagram account. Everything is under Tattoo Shea. It's kind of what I go by T A T 2 S H A E. Google it, touch it, Facebook it, Instagram it, Tumblr, all those things. That's, that's the name I run by. For the Cottonmouth Kings, uh, some of the pieces that we got going. Um, like I said, I was trying to uh, I was trying to make it um, as 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 unique as I could, but at the same time, you have a, a, a fan base there. You can't just blow it out and just do whatever you want. Otherwise, you're totally misleading what we what you guys have built for uh, you know 20 some odd years, whatever it was. So I needed to somewhat find that middle point. So I got I did a lot of hand, I did some, a lot of lettering. I did handwriting um, pieces. I did uh, I did one that I knew was especially. Uh, he wanted me to do which is called loyalty. He wanted me to do a shirt called loyalty, and it was just for them, for the core people that were staying involved with this movement and were down to fight it out. He wanted a loyalty shirt, and for the fans who pretty much have just been riders from day one with the tattoos and everything, um, we did a, a couple cool, like kind of you know up to date, you know style ones um, as well. You guys will see them. Um, did like a lighter as a mascot. Um, some gang riding. I don't know, I try to do as much as diverse as I can. You guys will see them. It's lettering and art pretty much is what I try to bring to the table. Kind of screw around with some old ideas and uh, you guys won't be disappointed, I know that. If I was you guys, I mean, as soon as these guys drop this hot mouth wear, jump on it. Check it out, be the first guy to get it because this stuff is new, it's original. It, you can wear it and it's, you guys are gonna trip because it's gonna be stuff that you would wear and you wouldn't even really know it. some of it's KMK so you see the logo on it, you know what I mean? So. Go check it out, and it, uh, and I'm knowing you're gonna like it, dude.